After two years and hundreds of pounds of produce, we decided to switch out our round hydroponic rails for a new square system. This new system is very similar to the system that we've been running for a while now down below here. So it has square pipes and then in the first rail here we have the inlet so the water comes in to this rail, flows down to the end, goes across there, comes back, goes across here, goes back down this third rail, crosses again, comes down the fourth rail, and exits here at this exit elbow. The first rail is designed to have a higher water level than the other ones, so that allows us to start seeds in this row or have small seedlings also. So the really nice thing about this system is we can grow all the way from seed to harvest in the same system. This one's a little bit different than the one I've done in the past because I made this one more for bigger plants. So in the past I've used one and a half inch net cups because those work really well for lettuce and other things that grow really fast and have a short time between planting and harvest. But for bigger plants that stay in the system longer, I like two inch net cups. So what I wanna grow in this system, and you can see I have a bunch of strawberry plants. So I've already grown strawberries once before and gotten a lot of strawberries, several hundred berries from just a few plants. And I have at least one video that talks about that. But I learned a lot of things from that. So this year I planted a lot more strawberries. I have at least 10 plants going. And I designed these rails so that there's a bigger gap between the plants. There's 10 inches between each one because I found last year I had put the plants a little bit too close. I, I actually still have two down here that are have some flowers on them, but I put them too close together. So I decided this time let's bring it out to 10 inches apart and see how well that works. I'm also trying several other new plants that I haven't grown before. So back here I have some Swiss chard. So I'm hoping to get maybe a whole row in the back so I can get a continuous harvest of that. And then I also have some red veined sorrel growing. It looks really cool. I'm excited to see what it looks like when it gets bigger. I've got some interesting new kinds of lettuce that I'm trying. But another one that I'm trying is stevia it's an herb that tastes really sweet it was really hard to germinate but i've got a few started so i'm really interested to see how that turns out and then i have a few herbs that i've grown before like oregano and thyme over there and starting another rosemary here so this will be a system where i can try some new bigger plants another thing that i'm trying is tomatoes i just planted two seeds for some tiny tim tomatoes so I'm going to see if I can grow some smaller tomato plants in these rails. I don't think big tomato plants would work very well, but the smaller ones might have a chance. And just like our previous systems, this whole hydroponic system fits into a compact area. It's just over four feet long and two and a half feet deep. Also, this time when I made the rail system, I recorded video of the whole process because I've gotten a lot of questions about various parts of the construction process or just how I grow produce in my home overall. So I recorded a video of the whole thing and I made a video course that you can watch. So I'll link to that in the description of this video. But if you want to find out how exactly how I made this and how I run this system, check out that course. I tried to include as many things as I could and answer um, as many of the questions as I could. And we also have a website where we have a lot of information about how we grow produce in our home. So check that out. That's simplegreenshydroponics.com.